Microsoft, Epic Games, Nintendo, Roblox. These four companies are just a few examples of some of the largest gaming companies in the world. But recently, these four companies alongside many others have been tangled in a lawsuit battle that has been waged for almost a year. Now, it should not be a surprise to anyone that AAA gaming companies are subject to yet again another legal battle. In 2023, for example, the European Union began investigating into the problematic role in which loot boxes play in the modern AAA gaming experience, attributing the importance of this matter with their suggestion that video games in modern society are, quote, works of art with cultural value. It's important to recognize the last two words of that statement, cultural value. You see, my friends, we are at a point in history in which many quote-unquote normies, as well as politicians, acknowledge the fact that gaming is the most prevalent form of entertainment, that gaming is the most lucrative form of entertainment, and as an added bonus, is the most manipulative form of entertainment that can be mended to prey on kids and those with an addictive personality. Therefore, with the attention and subsequent outrage that has spawned from loot boxes as well as microtransactions in general, there is currently a silent battle occurring between AAA gaming and, to put it bluntly, angry parents who are pissed off that these games have affected their children negatively. In November of 2023, a mother from Arkansas filed a lawsuit against Microsoft, Google, and Nintendo, citing that their gaming products specifically designed to make young people addicted. She cited that through providing the player with personalized rewards, requiring long playtime to achieve higher ranks and better items, and like we've mentioned, incentivizing the player to spend real-life money on exclusive or sometimes better items, the mother's attorney argued that the minds and mental health of children are slowly being destroyed through modern gaming. Similar to this, a grandmother in that same year sued Activision, Roblox, and Epic Games for incorporating microtransactions in a way that is arguably exploiting children. She cited that not only does her seven-year-old grandchild get pissed off when pulled away from playing video games, but that he required, quote, medication therapy, outpatient counseling, and an individualized education plan at school. Since these two cases, many other parents have come forth with their own lawsuits as a form of a retribution tool against modern gaming companies, claiming that these modern gaming companies are just facilitating video game addiction for their children. However, sometimes the law of the land does not work in your favor. This past June, a dozen of these type of lawsuits were dismissed, and recently, two more lawsuits were dismissed by plaintiffs. Attorneys representing the devil argued that video games as a whole are protected under the First Amendment, an amendment which protects individual freedoms as long as you're not like gooning on public property or smoking a joint at Bed Bath & Beyond. Section 230 of the Communication Decency Act shields service providers and publishers like Roblox, Microsoft, and Nintendo from liability for third-party content. In other words, the reason why these lawsuits were dropped is simply due to the fact that the parents, the ones raising these lawsuits, were also the ones who consented to purchasing said gaming product. And despite said gaming product, I'm just gonna call it a video game, despite video games being hella addictive, they are still considered legal no matter what nefarious acts they use to promote microtransactions. These attorneys that represent these massive gaming publishers could just pull up to court and tell you that it's your fault that your child plays Roblox Mukbang Tycoon for 10 hours a day and spends a grand total of a thousand dollars on Robux. At the end of the day, while I do sympathize with these parents, the law is in fact the law. Though that being said, while these kids aren't being physically addicted to something like Galaxy Gas or Fentanyl, the kids that these lawsuits are based upon are clearly suffering from a video game addiction, which by the way, the WHO is actually classified as a legitimate addiction. That being said, the war between AAA gaming and angry parents has only just begun. These lawsuits, no matter what, are bad publicity for these companies. And if angry parents were able to raise the US drinking age to 21, perhaps these are the people that are the driving force to make modern gaming at least a little bit more ethical.